So today I'm actually back at Brad's shop at Doghouse Garage and we are actually going to do the hubs and bearings and everything and basically just to replace those studs. But Brad just used his trusty snap-on impact to literally take this super, super big nut off. And uh, yeah, let's get started. We're also gonna be doing the axle on the driver's or the passenger side as well. Got a brand new axle right there. The boot was torn last time. I'll show you guys right there. And I think that's causing some of my pulling issues, but we're gonna try that. And then we're gonna actually put the camera back in a little bit as well, just to make sure that it like matches the other side. First thing we did was take the brake caliper off. Now we're gonna take the caliper bracket off. Um, that will give us access to the actual hub itself to be able to pull that off. Okay, so now that we've got the bracket off, we can really take the rotor off. Put it right here. So we're gonna hang the caliper out of the way so that way we don't stress the line too much. Okay. <laughs> Brad's gonna allow me to smack it. POV. Okay. That way it allows it to move in and out. So once we pull the bottom ball joint loose and remove the spindle out of the way, we can actually get the axle out. Instead of having to hit it after we take that thing off. Yeah, because you won't be able to hold you it. Won't hold it. Cool. The more you know. So now that we have the actual hub like moved out of the way, we can get to the axle. We gotta loosen all those bolts on the axle before we can actually take it apart. And uh Jesus. Come to daddy. <laughs> That's uh, a lot of convincing you're about to do there. So one down, I think like what, six more to go? Five more to go, something like that? Oh, well, that's a gear. No, it's not, it's a neutral. I'm gonna make myself useful, and there you go. I lost a finger. I lost a finger. So we have the axle out. Okay, so we tried to use the freaking tool right here to take it off, but that did not work out too well. So we're actually going to take the whole spindle off and use a press like normal. And uh, hopefully that worked. <laughs> so Brad actually made this to have spindles go right into it to be able to press the bearing and stuff out. Smart. So this might be dangerous. So in order to get the rear wheel bearing out, you basically have to put it on the inner of the shaft, not the actual bearing itself, because you're not gonna actually take Wait, that out. Start checking. Oh, we just got it through. Something, something went through. The whole bearing, no. Nope, there's the bearing still on there. There's the bottom, huh? Oh, there's a the snap ring. There's the snap ring. Cool. So we have the actual hub out, and we're now about to press the bearing out of the spindle. And then we're gonna put brand new ones on. In, on, something like that. Brand new ones, brand new bearings. Up she goes, boys. Ta-da! Yay! So look at the new one versus the old ones. These look like they were, whew, they were rough, man. So I'm going to the bearing back in the hub. I think that's it. That's it. Now we put the locking ring back on there and then we put the hub back in. How easy would that was? Now we're gonna take a hammer and a screwdriver and make sure it's okay. Okay, so we are. Oh, that's it. Is it? Yeah. Okay. okay, so here's the new hub and bearing and new studs. That's 
the ultimate thing I was doing for these. I'm gonna put a little bit of anti-seize in there. So for the future time, we gotta take this off. You ain't gotta fight it. Put you just a little bit in there. That way when you put your splines in there, it'll be easier to come in and out. You heard the man. All right, so we just literally got another axle from O'Reilly's, just an OEM axle. And we're gonna put this in. And maybe that will help a little bit with the pulling as well. Um, the diff is fine. Still playing with the rally tank. Okay. I can't see, it's got too much lots in here. Put it in the hole, Chef. Hey, hold on. There it is, in the hole. Okay. Oh, twist it, twist it, twist it. Bop it, it. Give it a minute. Bop it. Give it a minute. Arr. Now that we've got the brand new axle in and the hub and a new wheel bearing, we're literally going to put everything back together. Dust cap from that. Finally took it off from the front one. Now we gotta take the spindle off and press that out. Well, take the nut off first and then press it out. Okay, so now that we have the front spindle off of the car, we are literally putting a brand new bearing and a brand new hub into it, and we should be ready to go. Put it back in the car. This was the old one. Thank you so much to Brad for letting me use the lift in the shop again and helping me with the rear um, wheel hub bearing and the front wheel hub and bearing. Now I have all five wheel studs and lug nuts on both fronts and rears and a little safer on the road, especially for spirited driving and tracks and stuff like that. So yeah, we're good, we're good to go on this part. I hope you guys learned a lot. I know I did, uh, even though Brad did most of the work, I helped a little bit, but now I at least know what to do and what tools I need to get and need um, for something like this. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than I thought it was gonna be for some wheel studs, but honestly, it's a really, really nice learning uh, experience and I'm super glad to be able to do it. But uh, thank you so much you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye Brad. Bye.